Welcome back, Peer Structure Traders, for another market analysis for the London session and potentially into the U.S. session. Today is June 1st, 2021 here in Hawaii and will be June 2nd, 2021 in London. Today we'll be going over S&P 500, gold and also oil, giving you guys some levels that we'll be looking at during the London session and potentially those levels can move into the U.S. session. If you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe for all of those who are thank you guys very much for watching and liking these videos any questions you guys have feel free to pop them in here on youtube we would love to get back to you guys answer the questions that you guys have with that said though let's go ahead and hop into this market analysis for the london session s p 500 couple levels that we got there is a top level actually that i'll mark right now for you guys here's going to be our top level of resistance right at 42.29.25 now we got a lower level of resistance 42.14.25 and then support for me is going to come somewhere around 41.83 now there is a mid level that potentially could be played which is going to be right in this area of about uh, 94 to 95 kind of right sitting right smack dab in the middle now if you guys want to play that you can that is to me in the middle of the range uh, that we're currently in between this level of 1425 and 4183 but I'm gonna leave that off for now see how we react around these areas first and then maybe I'll put that back up um, on the charts if we get into the session and we're bouncing off that level but for me more of an exhaustive area somewhere around these 4183s as support is going to be where I'm looking for the support to come back up into the mid level right around these 94 95s and then shoot back up into resistance at 42 14 25 as the area of resistance now if we continue to hold that level of resistance that will be a good opportunity for a short again if we're going to play this range we're going to sell high and buy low so again those are two main areas that we're looking for resistance and or support to move the market right back in the middle now if the market does break below these 4183s next level of support 4166.50 uh, next level of resistance above 1425 is going to be 4229 25 uh, with that let's go ahead and look at a smaller chart for you guys that way we can see what's going on on the smaller chart let me delete these lines here real quickly okay let's move over here for you all so you all can see what's going on all right so with this smaller chart that we got up for you guys you can see we're right in the middle of this whole thing which is going to be a little bit of an ugly area for us to try to play so it's better that we let this thing come down to an exhaustive level which more than likely we'll see this thing try to target the downside over here at these 4183s and if it doesn't you'll see it try to pull back up um again if you're going to play with between these levels these mid levels it's probably better to get this short somewhere around these 06 to 08s and then try to short it down if you're shorting right around these 4200s maybe a little bit low now this thing has a high probability of pulling deeper down below into the support here but uh that is up to you guys if you want to be patient for that to happen again best support is going to come around these 4183s uh first and then we'll see what kind of happens from there uh but again so resistance 42 14 25 for right now if we get above that you can see support potentially coming in above that level and then having that resistance right at 42 29 25 below these 83s 41 66 50 that's where we want to see a deep dive and this could be a good opportunity for support to come back in and then push back up from there so we'll see what happens here on s p let's go ahead and take a look at gold here real quickly for you guys so gold coming back into our level of support we did have a high resistance somewhere around these 1916.5s you can see the market moved down moved down to a main level of 1894.2 and then bounce right off that area so a couple things that we want to see here on gold uh, we want to see the market try to bounce either off of these nine 1899.1s and find that support and continue to head back up into 1903.3 and then 1907.9 as the next target level 
or we're going to pull down a little bit deeper back into these 1894.2s and then try that upside from there. Now, this is going to be one main level of support below 1894.2, 1890.9 is the next level of support that we could have. Um, still think we may end up going back bullish here. So two areas to look, at, look out for, keep an eye on 1899.1 as the first initial area of support and then below that 94.2. Uh, now as for resistance, it's probably easier to call the resistance above 1903.3. You can look at 1907.9 as a more of a main area of resistance to try to pull it back down if you want to look for that short. But if it stalls right at 1903, I'd say stay out of the way. This may end up trying to pull all the way back up into 1911.8 and maybe even past that into those 16.5s. So we want to keep an eye out for those two things that could happen. Um, if you're going to try to continue the short down, again, you can try these 1903.3s, but it may stall and find the support and pop back up so just keep that in mind those who are looking for the short continuation again 1903.3 or 1907.9 those are the two areas that you want to look for the short continuational move and again below these 1894.2s 1890.9 as the support let's take a look at a smaller chart for you all here on gold mm. okay so moving over to this smaller chart that we have here Let's erase this for a second. You can see kind of moving sideways. Again, really want it to get to that exhaustive level right here as it tries to pull down, which more than likely should, right into 1899.1s and then try to shoot back up from there. We'll see if that happens. We may go into a range between these two areas right here, 99 to 1903.3. Um, that could be the area of the range. But as long as we continue above these 1899.1s, we should have a continued bullish move. So again, best to look for the supports right here at 99.1 and continue to move up. If you're looking for the short, you're looking for this 1903 to press it past these 99.1s back into support at 94.2. That could be where you find that support or continue the the move to try to push past 94.2 into 1990.9 so a couple good opportunities that we may have during the london session and or even into the u.s session uh coming up here on gold above 1903 1907.9 1911.8 and 1916.5 as the levels of resistance above that let's take a look at oil for you all um so with oil pop this up for you all here Let's move it a little bit <clears throat> over for you all to see. So with oil, we got some resistance here coming in. Oh, man, I wonder if I can make this cleaner. There we go. There we go. All right. So we got some resistance that came in 68.84 as a main level of resistance that hit right off this level one, two, three times and then pull right back down. Coming right back into our support at 67.47. Um, and that is a main level of support. We want to see this market hold this area here. If not that area, we're going to look for the market to try to come back down into right around the 6670s. And if not that area, 6622 is the next level of support. But right now, what's more important is can we get this to hold the resistance? If these sellers continue to hold this resistance, then we're going to try to pull down into the support here, 67.47. You can look for a nice bullish move from this area. Again, in a bullish move, a bullish trend. So that's going to be a good opportunity for a long. If not that, then we're going to break down deeper, come into these levels of 6670 or 66.22 as the support to try to bounce off of. I am probably going to be looking for more longs than shorts, but right now the short setup has come. Got a couple touches here off this prior level of support reacting as resistance 68.28. Uh, so that should bring price down a little bit deeper back into a support of 67.47. So we'll look out for that. Um, above 68.84, you want to see this market break through this level convincingly and find that support on top for a continuational move. If not, then I probably won't be looking for a long up here. May end up looking for a long above these 68.28s um, back into those 68.84s. So we'll see what happens. Some very micro moves that could happen within all of this movement. But for right now, more of the major area, 67.47 as support or 66.70 as support. Let's take a look at a smaller chart here for you guys. So you can see what's going on in the smaller chart here. 
the market has broke down from that level of 68.28 as resistance and could potentially move this market all the way back down. Could be a good area if you caught the level of trade right between the 68.28 or 67. That's going to be a great opportunity uh, for a move down right back into this support. So definitely good. That is going to be a fade against the actual trend. But again, structure wise, that's a perfect lined up trade there on, on oil. Uh, can't get any better than that. Look to bring that down into this main level, 67.47, and look for support after that, or look to take some profit from there. Uh, for those who are looking for buying opportunities, again, underneath 67.47, 66.70, and then 66.22. But again, main level that I'll be looking out for spotting out is going to be right in this area here. We're going to target this level as an opportunity for a buying opportunity if oil can get back down into that level for a pop-up so we'll see if we get that other than that that sums it up for s p 500 gold and also oil if you guys do like these videos please go ahead and smash that like button again a lot of golden nuggets here in these videos definitely sets you up for the sessions you're looking to trade um, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe for those of you who have any questions feel free to pop them in here on youtube we would love to get back to you guys um, other than that we're going to wrap it up here if you guys can Continue to trade make sure you guys trade well and we will see you guys later on into the u.s session tomorrow. you guys take care have a great night